G'day and welcome to XJet. Yeah, I know it looks like RC model reviews, but it's XJet because today I'm talking about this, the Hobby King Pulse Jet. Now, a lot of people have said they've got these. Some get them to run, some don't get them to run. If you look at the review I did on this, there, I found there were some problems with at least the sample that I got. Number of things, basically the tailpipe is way out of round. It's quite elliptical because of the way they've constructed it. Really quite poor in terms of the alignment, the welding, and the, you know, they've ground the snot out of it to try and make it look good. Uh, but more importantly, the fuel jets. The fuel jets are the real problem with the version of the motor that I had. And I recently bought a replacement fuel jet set for the Hobby King Pulse Jet to see if they'd change them, and indeed they have. So this was one of the very first ones that came out of the factory, and now the new ones are a little bit different. Let's take a look at the difference between those fuel jets. So here we have the old and the new. The original one has some plastic tubing on it, so I don't get confused. The new one doesn't. Now, a couple of things I noticed immediately. The angle of this air um, pipe here, the angle of the air pipe used to blow over the holes to get some fuel going into the motor to basically atomize the fuel and blow it into the motor, it's different. It's changed on the new one. It's a subtle change, but it's there. There is a subtle change. The other thing I notice is the position of the holes. Now, if you take a look at these holes, you'll notice that these ones here are right up in the middle of the uh, spray bar, the atomizer. If I, if I turn it around, you probably see that as I rotate it, there's, the hole is about the same place on each side, maybe a little bit um, higher on this side than the other side. So they've tried to place this atomizer right in the middle and blowing evenly over both sides. If we look at the new one, there's a significant difference. See how much further up this hole is? We can actually almost see it from the top. And this hole is quite a bit lower down. So effectively, they've welded this um, air tube on further round the barrel of the atomizer attachment. So that's going to make a difference. Both the angle and the position of those holes is going to make a difference. But it's even more. These holes are different sizes. The holes in this particular setup here are a different size to those holes. The new spray bar has smaller holes. Now, is that going to make any difference? Well, you know, these are things we're going to find out when we put this damn engine back together and we make some changes to get it running because it's going on the Mini Talon, normally an FPV model, but it's going on the Mini Talon. And we want, of course, the motor to run very reliably. If we can, Pulse Jets are not renowned for their reliability, but they should at least start reasonably easy. So the first thing on our list of to-dos is to get this fuel system sorted out, find out how to adjust or remake or just bodge the existing fuel atomizer to make the motor start easily. And uh, that's what I'll be doing in the next video. I just wanted to show you this difference here just to get going so you know what we're looking at. We know that these motors are made to a price, very much to a price. I mean, they're really, really cheap. The original Dynajets were a couple hundred bucks, I think, and that's old money. So these things, uh, I've seen them, they were on special for as little as $60 or something in the recent cyber sale. So the Hobby King Pulse Jets are really, really cheap. But they are really, really cheap. So we'll have to do some work on it. Rightio, so I'd like some comments and feedback from people who've got their Hobby King Pulse Jets to run. Leave a comment in the comment section and we'll see whether we can get a consensus on what's causing this. Otherwise, I shall go into analysis mode and do some work before the next video. So hopefully I'll be able to show you, show you exactly what to do to get your Hobby King Pulse Jet going. And it's probably going to involve simply tweaks to these or this component. Okay, so I've screwed the new fuel jet into the front of the motor here. We're going to see how that goes um, compared to the original. We just try it out. Simple, easy solution. See if they have made a change and not told anybody or whether it's just manufacturing tolerances, which are pretty wild. Um, first thing to do when you want to check your pulse jet ready before you start it up, before you mount it, is make sure the valve's sealing. Very important that the valve in the head here seals well. Otherwise, instead of the combustion gas is rushing out the back. Some of them will come back out the front and it'll cause the, if the valve not already damaged, it will cause rapid valve damage and you just won't get the engine to start. And if it does start, it just will, won't run consistently or for very long. So how do you check and see whether the valve is sealing? Simple. You blow, blow in the tailpipe and there should be virtually no air coming out the front. If it makes a noise, um, if, if a lot of air blows out, then something's wrong with your valve to head seal. You need to pull it apart and have a look. You'll probably find that one of the valves has, has been chipped or broken or burnt around the edges, in which case just replace it. Now, Hobby King do sell spare reed valves. I bought a whole lot a while ago, actually, more than I expected to buy. So I've got heaps, and I'll be putting those to good use over the summer for obvious reasons. So there you go. Now I'm going to take this out, bolt it to the stand, and see if we can start it up with this. The only change I've made is this new fuel atomizer. Let's see how we go. Right, here's the engine mounted to the test stand here. I've got it mounted on 
never mount your engine to wood because it will catch on fire. See that? Never mount it to wood. <laughs> I should have mounted some aluminium under there, but I haven't had time. I'm going to do this quickly. Here's the fuel tank. Keep your fuel tank as close as, or reasonably close to the engine because these things don't have a lot of draw. They don't have a lot of vacuum out of that Venturi. So if there's too much head or it has to draw the fuel too far, especially uphill, then you're going to have starting problems. But there you go. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Down here I've got the Hobby King igniter, which is barely adequate, but we'll see how that goes. And uh, I've... Uh, yeah, just fill this up with some fuel, go outside, give it a blast, see how it goes. Damn, so much for that idea. So much for the summer weather. Ah.